The state of Florida and parts of the Caribbean still reeling tonight, dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. Now, we want to show you this dramatic comparison. On the left, you see Tampa Bay before Irma struck yesterday. You can see all the water had been pushed out by the offshore wind. And then on the right is what Tampa Bay looks like tonight. After Irma's storm, storm surge pushed all the water and more back inland. Right now, across Florida, millions of people, almost 7 million people without power, and they are still dealing with floodwaters and wind damage. Now, in the Caribbean, where more U.S. citizens are being evacuated today from the Dutch island territory of St. Martin, military aircraft from the New York Air National Guard have now transported as many as 1,200 Americans to safety in Puerto Rico. St. Martin is one of the islands hit hard by the hurricane the other day. One couple from western New York is among those stranded there for days, living through deplorable conditions. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore tells us tonight, that couple finally now on their way back home to western New York. Life or death, scary moments for this western New York couple stranded on St. Martin as Hurricane Irma pounded the island. When the wall of water hit the wall, the wall and the hurricane shutter went and the glass broke and the water came flying in, I told, you know, I told myself this was it. Sherry Cruz and Chris Mezaros were vacationing on the Caribbean island when the hurricane hit. The couple spent several hours taking cover in their hotel room's bathtub with pillows. Eventually, they made their way to the hotel's restaurant where other guests were taking shelter in the kitchen. 90, 95% of structures there are, are down. With lack of food and water after the hurricane, frustration grew from family members of 1,200 Americans stranded on the devastated island. Congressman Brian Higgins wrote a letter to the president asking him to get the State Department to work with the U.S. military to get people like Sherry and Chris out of there. And that's what was being done on Sunday. That was probably in the planning stages anyhow, uh, but obviously uh, prior to Saturday, clearly not enough was being done. There was the Buffalo couple were among hundreds of Americans in line to board C-130s off the island. They could only take a small bag and leave the rest of their things behind. Sit on the ground, knees bent, bags, and your, your, your bags and your knees to get as many people as possible into that. The couple is now in Puerto Rico waiting to fly back to Buffalo Tuesday night. They say they're blessed to have lived through such a horrible storm. I've always been pretty strong believer of God. I know that God saved us because I prayed the rosary every day and night. Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.